G'day guys, we've got an applications of calculus question today which has been given to me by a student of mine. The question basically requires the knowledge of the relationship um, in a calculus perspective between velocity, acceleration and displacement or displacement, velocity and acceleration. Now what we've been given is we've been given a question which says that a particle travels along a straight line with its acceleration at time t seconds equal to this. The particle has an initial positive velocity and travels 30 metres in the fourth second. Find the velocity of the body when t equals 5. So, the question essentially is asking us to determine v of 5. Now, you might be wondering, or you might already understand this, that what we've been given is we've been given that a of t is equal to 3t plus 2. Now, it says that the particle has an initial positive velocity and travels 30 metres in the fourth second. Okay, well, to start with, if we want to figure out what the velocity is from the acceleration, we are going to have to integrate the acceleration uh, relationship so the function that is going to define velocity, or v with respect to t, is going to be equal to the indefinite integral of the acceleration equation. And that is just the relationship between velocity and acceleration. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this integral and that is going to be equal to 3t squared. Now I'm assuming that you guys basically, un well, you guys understand the mechanics of integration. So we have to make sure that we put that c term on the end. It's That is very, very important. And it travels 30 metres north in the fourth second. Now, hopefully you guys are aware that displacement is the integral of velocity. And so what we can do from here is we can keep this C term in and we can say that the displacement is 30 in the fourth second. We can write this like so. We can say that 30 is equal to the definite integral from 3 to 4, or the 4th second, of our velocity equation. Now what we can, this is going to be, is this is going to be the definite integral of this thing. So take that upper power, it's going to be t cubed over 2 plus t squared plus c t. And that has to be evaluated between 3 and 4, which will come out to equal 30. So what we're going to do, we're going to evaluate this between 3 and 4. So we're going to take this here, we're going to go 4 to the power of 3 is 64, divided by 2 is equal to 32, plus 4 squared is 16, plus 4 times C. And from that, we're going to subtract, 3 cubed is 27, over 2, plus 3 squared is 9, plus 3c. Great. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to combine our like terms. You could use probably use a calculator for this. And we're going to get 51 over 2 
plus C equals 30. And as a result, C is going to be equal to 9 over 2. So from here, we can then write down what our velocity equation is going to be. So we can say, well, V of T is going to be equal to 3T squared divided by 2 plus 2T plus 9 over 2. Now this fits with our last constraint, this initial positive velocity, because when t is 0, the velocity will be 9 over 2, which is positive. So now finally, all we have to do is find v of 5. So we're going to go, well, v of 5 is going to be 5 squared is 25 times 3 is 75, or 70. 5 on 2, plus 2 times 5 is 10, plus our constant, 75 plus 9 is 84, divided by 2 is 42, plus 10 is equal to 52 metres per second to the negative 1. Cool. So basically, guys, what we have to understand here is that if we want, for this particular question, if we want to go from acceleration to velocity to displacement, we need to go, well, velocity in terms of time is equal to the integral of acceleration with respect to time. and Displacement with respect to time is equal to the integral of velocity with respect to time. And this is just going backwards from the fact that the derivative of displacement is velocity and the derivative of velocity is acceleration. So, once you understand that and you feel comfortable with keeping this constant term C in your working, you can, to start with, use this little piece of information to solve for c and then substitute the t equals 5 into the final equation. So I hope this video helped guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up, do me a favour, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos and ask me questions that, that you know give me ideas for new videos. But until next time guys, keep practicing. It does make perfect, I promise. And also make sure you keep enjoying your maths.